Hi, it's me again. It's Friday. This is my second live on YouTube. And um, the Christmas tree is still up behind me. Can you see it? Yeah. Because we're not officially out of the Christmas season until this Sunday for the baptism of the Lord. So I want to start with your first tip. And that first tip is we're going to be returning to ordinary time. So one of the things that I think you should do to indicate this to your followers is to take a picture of your priest in his green vestments, or you can take a picture of the vestments just hanging in the sacristy, you know, whatever works for you. But it's a great indicator and educational moment for your followers to realize we have seasons in the church. So my tip number two is to take video of the transformation within your liturgical environment and sanctuary from the Christmas season to ordinary time. So that might be taking down the banners that you put up, uh, the nativity scene, uh, changing the linens on the altar, whatever you do in your individual parish to uh, reflect the change in seasons, capture that on video, capture it in pictures and you can do a pic collage that you can share on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and even Twitter, all right? That's your tip number two. Tip number three, um, on January 14th, so the Monday, the day after the baptism of the Lord, we began a nine-day novena for life. Nine days for life. So the USCCB wants to help you get the word out. So if you go to the usccb.org and you type in the search field, nine days for life, a page will come up and they'll have two options. They'll have a press kit and they'll have a leader's kit. Select the leader's kit and it'll give you an actual um, rundown of what you should post every day of the novena, which is really cool. It took me about 20 minutes to do all nine days because they create the graphics for you. They create a link to a meditation or a reflection. So you basically just copy and paste to your Hootsuite, your buffer, um, your individual Facebook pages, however you uh, schedule your post. This is where you want to go. All right. Now, your tip number four is as we continue um, to focus on the nine days for life, on the 14th, there's going to be a vigil mass that is live streamed and it's going to be live streamed on EWTN and also on Catholic TV. So, with that said, it would be really easy for you to go to their pages and just share it onto your page. So whatever time zone you're in, do the transition and you should be able to go to the page and share it onto your page. And I think they're also going to be streaming it on their websites. So do your due diligence and look at all those sites and then you can just share the live stream. If you miss it live, they always leave up a replay for at least 24 hours. So you can go take the link and then share it on your page. So that's tip number four, share the live stream of the beginning of the vigil mass for the nine days of life that's happening in Washington. All right, tip number five. So tip number five, there are going to be walks for life that's going to happen on January 19th. The big one, of course, is in Washington. But here in Los Angeles, we have our one day for life Um major walk and event that our Archbishop Gomez is going to be a part of. Across the country, there are all sorts of different organizations putting on these walks. So if you have members of your parish that will be participating in one of these walks or even going to Washington, um, be sure to capture their participation. So tell them to send you pictures via their cell phone live the day of that you can share on your pages to show that you have a presence at this event. So that's your tip number five. All right. Tip number six. Tip number six is January 16th. We are going to be six weeks from Ash Wednesday. Yeah. So we're only going to be in ordinary time for about six weeks. 
But why don't we use this time to really design an engaging social media um, campaign for your individual parish to draw people into that desert, to draw people into that time of reflection during Lent. So take the time now to plan what you're going to share during Lent. So then you can kind of relax, restore, and reflect during Lent. All right, so that's it for this week. I hope that my church social tips help you to do church social right in your parish. And uh, look forward to seeing you next week because we're going to get started planning for Lent. All right, that's it for now. May the peace of Christ be with you.